In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, it will show you the option number one. You can put the option number here. You can add some icon. And I have added some title and the detailed text at the bottom. When I click, it will show me the second option, the third option, fourth and fifth. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code and if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Just click it here. Go to the shape format, make the height and width as 2 inches and shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to align center, align middle. I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and give some different color here. And this one I'm going to make the height and width as 2.3. And again make sure to align center, align middle and send this to back. Alright, now this orange circle I'm going to cut into half. For that go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle from the left side. Okay, covering half of the uh, circle. So I'm going to select the, the orange circle, hold the shift key, select the rectangle, merge shape, I'm going to subtract. So I end up getting a shape something like this. Now I'm going to give this color as white for that right mouse click, go to format shape and I'm going to fill this with white. Alright, and I'm going to give some effects So go to the uh, effects shadow and I'm going to give some shadow effect here. You can see here something like this. All right, so once this is done, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add one line at the top. So select the lines, draw the line from here by holding the shift key. All right, till here and you can give any uh, black color line and increase the width maybe to two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more uh, small oval shape here. So I'm going to select this one, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this one, maybe I'm going to make it 0.5 only, the height and width. All right. And put it exactly in the center. It looks something like this. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to add one arrow here. So select the line arrow from here. Hold the shift key till here. And this outline also, I'm going to make it uh, same uh, dark color. And make it again as two points. All right, so it looks something like this. And if you want to increase the size of the arrow shape, you can just go here and select the begin arrow size. I'm going to select this one, which is more bigger. All right, so let me just select the bigger one. And here also I can just choose this one. My mistakes, I have to actually not this one. I should select the end arrow type. So let me just choose the end arrow type the same thing and here it is bigger one and the begin arrow type should be nothing okay all right so right now once this is done i'm going to add one more line at the bottom so again i'm going to select this one drag this down by holding the control shift key look something like this and this end arrow type also i don't need any end arrow here and then i'm going to select this one press control d and then go to the shape format rotate it you can see here rotate right 90 degrees and put it exactly in the center so this is the place where we are going to add the the title and the text so go to insert text box i'm going to add title center align make it bold and give some gap bring it some more down and go to insert text box i'm going to add some text so equals lorm within brackets so this is the long text i'm going to short it and then i'm going to center align this one give some gray color font reduce the size to maybe 10 all right and put it here exactly and this title i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to make this as option number one reduce the width and then I'm going to put exactly in the center. If you want, you can increase the size. All right. 
so this is done now in the center i'm going to add some icons so click on the icons and choose any icon of your choice so i'm going to choose this one this color i can give some gray color all right and this color also i'm going to match with this color okay with the orange this also i'm going to make it orange all right so you can see here the first option is ready i'm going to select all this option press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key add it towards the left side one more so two i have added here not two more i'm just going to add towards the right side all right so our design is ready now it's time to just change the options to two this is three four and five and then i'm going to change the color i'm going to select any color of my choice so i'm just giving some random colors here you can see i can give maybe a blue and then i can give maybe a red color here all right so similarly you need to change the color for this text as well so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to make it green like this you can just change it one by one all right and then if you would like to change the icons you need to select these icons you have to go to the graphics format change graphic and i'm going to select from icons okay so from icons i can just choose any icon maybe i need this icon and click insert so the icons got changed okay so likewise you can just change the icons and once this is done you can add a simple animation effect to it